Scott Hanson, and here with me is Isaac Connell, the president of Paragon Outsourcing, the recipient of CIO Advisors 2020 Contact Center of the Year Award. Hi, Isaac. Thanks for taking the time to join us this morning. I want to start by asking you to tell us a bit about what Paragon does. Hi, Nicolette. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, Paragon is an outsourcing company that specializes in digital media. Like most BPOs, we handle popular services like customer service, tech support, back office support, and so on. But what sets us apart is our digital media capabilities in areas like uh, programmatic campaign management, ad tech ops, creative design, 3D visualization, SEO, SEM, and stuff like that. So you offer the traditional suite of contact center services, but also specialize in more technical fields. Is that correct? Uh, that's right. Uh, our digital media clients often want additional services like lead generation or accounting. So now we offer experts in all those traditional support functions. As you know, there are a lot of BPOs in the Philippines. What made you decide to start Paragon here? Well, the reason the Philippines is a top-ranked outsourcing destination is mainly because of the low cost of living, which creates an unbeatable arbitrage opportunity. Uh, but for us, it's more than just about pricing. We needed the technical experts, and the Philippines has an impressive pool of specialists like that. But almost as important is the fact that in the Philippines, the people are 100% comfortable with Western culture. And why do you think is the cultural element important? Um, well, you know, as you might know, outsourcing has been shifting from India to the Philippines for years now. Uh, quality control is a big factor, but I think the cultural differences is an even bigger issue. Uh, Filipinos often have a more neutral accent and are totally immersed in the Western lifestyle, so customers can make a much stronger connection with our agents. And this isn't just for things like customer service. Uh, in digital media, culture plays an important part as well. Whether it's the keywords you use, the graphics and designs you develop, or the campaigns and strategies that you put together. Okay, so let's switch gears a little bit. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, I'm an American, born in Southern California to Japanese parents. About 20 years ago, I moved out to Hong Kong to help a friend kickstart a uh, product outsourcing company. And uh, from there, uh, I moved to Philippines to start a uh, business process outsourcing company because that's really not too different. And so you decided to move from Hong Kong to the Philippines to start this new venture. That's right. Um, it was difficult to leave the U.S. and then, of course, to leave Hong Kong years later. But if you want to make strong contacts and uh, really get to understand your workforce, you really need to be there on the ground. And I found that uh, coming to the Philippines, the transition wasn't very difficult at all. I mean, uh, the cultural similarities to the West are so strong that it's really easy to forget that I'm in a foreign country. Now, what do you think are the most common concerns of people about outsourcing? Uh, well, obviously, when uh, you hand over a part of your operations to someone in a foreign country, there's a trust factor involved. So to address this, we make communications a priority because that's obviously an important part of building that trust. That's why we really go out of our way to um, always stay in touch with our clients. That way, uh, we provide more transparency and they feel much more comfortable knowing what's going on with their team abroad. You know, outsourcing is growing very fast right now, and that's because companies all around the world are really getting comfortable with it and really recognizing it as a win-win solution. Well, it seems like Paragon has contributed to that. You were recently recognized as CIO Advisors Contact Center of the Year. What was your initial reaction to this? Well, I have to admit, I was a bit surprised that we even came up on CIO Advisors' radar. There are a lot of enormous BPOs out there, so for a boutique organization like ours, that's a great honor. What do you think caught their attention? Uh, I think it's because of the success we've had as a relatively new and smaller organization. Uh, the BPO giants who've been around for decades, you know, they have their own ways of doing things. They expect you to sort of fit into their preset molds or templates. Uh, for us, we really customize our relationship with our clients and they're always surprised at how flexible we are. Uh, we see our partnership with our clients really more as a collaborative project. Um, I think that's what sets us apart, that we're willing to change our process to match uh, their needs. It seems like an obvious thing to do, but you know, you'd be surprised at how few BPOs actually offer a fully customized, tailored solution. And now that you've been here um, for a few years running Paragon, what do you think was your biggest challenge? Well, I came into the BPO industry not knowing a thing about BPOs. Um, I came from a product development outsourcing background. And so the business or the idea of business process outsourcing seemed like a uh, natural progression. Um, and I thought, you know, you offer a great service at an unbeatable price and you win. What I didn't know was that most successful BPOs start with an established client base. Uh, they start up their BPOs and, uh, you know, they already, they already know that their friends are going to sign on as their clients. 
we did the opposite. We started Paragon and we opened our offices before we even had a single client. So to start from scratch, like we did, was a big challenge. We really had to prove ourselves just to get our foot in the door. But I think um, starting the way we did, did have some benefits too. We started hungry. We never had the luxury of complacency. I think that that forced us to work uh, harder and smarter than a lot of the other guys. Well, considering how outsourcing is booming right now as a new business trend and is becoming a core component in day-to-day -day business strategies, it's been very interesting to learn and hear some of your thoughts as a leader of an award-winning BPO. So again, Isaac Kana, president of Paragon Outsourcing, thank you for your time.